Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. I have a goddamn canker sore on my tongue, so I can't speak, but I'll try as well as I can. Uh, today, we're working on this console RPG, and what I want to do is I want to add a shop functionality. Mm, I'm not sure if I had that here. I did, but I, I want this to be... I want this to happen through a uh, through a event, right? So that's that's kind of what I want to do. I want this to happen through an event. So I'm gonna remove that, and we're gonna have to do a few things here. Now we're gonna have to do all this shit again because it's really annoying. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. It's not that tough. Because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch these out, and then we'll be fine. 6, 7, 8. And I think I have to do something about the sin fail thing. Right here. Uh, wait, case 8. And I'm going to add something here. How many choices do we have? One through eight. One, two, four, five, six. Nine choices, right? I think it would be nine choices. So this choice is greater than nine. Um, choice zero to eight. That's what I want to do. And then we're good we're good now to make the shop functionality I'm gonna have to go into a shop go into event actually event.cpp event.cpp put it right here and I'll have event.h right here puzzle encounter and then we're just gonna make one more called up here I think called shop encounter okay and we have character uh, in event itself I'm just gonna close down this I don't know what this is the enemy encounter huge huge absolutely huge and then we're gonna do a, a event uh, shop encounter And boom, we have a shop encounter. All right. Hmm. Event number of events three. Um. Okay. All right. All right. I still haven't worked with static stuff here, so that's why this is uh, this is happening. Why we have it like a. We have an event, and then this number of events and all that stuff. But, but yeah, generate. Let's go into generate event. So it is a random of this number of events. Okay, so every event has a number of events. That's kind of not what I want. So what we could do is we could we could introduce a static. I don't know if we've done that in this game yet. I've done it with my SFML game, but it's a really good thing to do. You want to go down here and in the public section you want to say statics and then say static in number of events. Okay, so what this means is not every event that you create will have a a this variable, just one per whole class. So once you create the first object of event or you don't even have to do that you can just you can just I mean it will be there as as soon as event is is uh, what do you call it? included so you'll have access to this and it's in the public so everywhere event is included you have access to this now you do have to initialize this and the way you initialize static members if I haven't done it before in this video again is you remove the static part you just tell the compiler the return or the type of it and then you say event so it's part of event number of events 
equals three. So there are three events. All right, and it's static. So yeah, you'll access this wherever you want. I'll remove this. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, we'll say this is really good for like item ID and stuff so because it's, it will you can add one to it and then give the item that value and then the next item created is plus one and then gives given that value or whatever so it's pretty good in that way uh, then you want to write like this event number of events um, oh like this so then that should be fine puzzle encounter enemy encounter I think why am I doing it upwards it doesn't really matter who cares shop um, this shop encounter character <sighs> have mercy on my soul there we go so that's good just gonna do this for the cleanliness so now we have a shop encounter now what can I do in shop encounter well once you hit a shop encounter I want to print out that you're in a shop and I want to create a shop menu so this is a this is a alright this is kinda what I want to have with the switch and everything Hmm. So I'm just going to copy paste this. I'm lazy, I know. I'm going to copy paste this into shop encounter and I'm going to remove most of it. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. I guess I'm going to remove this as well. So it's just going to be a while thing. Where is it? Good Lord have mercy on my soul right now. Good Lord have mercy. This is the shop encounter, right? Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to close that up. And then we'll do this. And then we'll say break. Break. Sorry about this ugly coding. But I guess you can see what I'm doing. I just copy pasted the switch case. This is all you need. This stuff. Uh, sin C out. Mm, we need one of these for the. I think we need those. No, we don't, right? No. This whole big while loop needs one, though. Like that. Uh, no, that is for that. Oh, whoops. What is this? That's for the while loop for the whole while loop. Oh whoops. Then this this should be here. There we go. And then we're just gonna do zero shop menu uh, zero buy mm. okay choice equals zero <coughs> how did I do it an enemy I had the choice and I had that stuff and that's okay all right so buy sell case to break or leave buy and sell buy sell so that's the options I want leave buy and sell so this way we'll easily be able to buy and sell items just through a simple little menu mm, probably gonna copy this and use it over here shop menu while bull uh, shopping a uh, shopping 
true while shopping we're gonna be doing all this stuff mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. uh, and then as we leave the shop we'll say see out you left the shop and then a, a new line come on come on some wrong why are you screwing around right now there we go and then another slash n <clears throat> just like this and we have a shop functionality all right we have a shop functionality um let us run this let's see if it works um, 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 um let's see let's see let's see so i loaded myself let's go to travel yes that's good player turn escape travel 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 Huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't think I can leave. I'm stuck here forever. But okay. I uh, was kind of interesting how it it wanted to sin get. Okay. So I'm probably gonna wanna sin get at the end. After all the choices are done, see out. Oh, fat fingering. Enter. Press enter to con press. Wait, how, what did I type here? Let me just take the exact same thing. Enter to continue. Um. Okay. Event. <clears throat> there we go. So that's good. All right. So uh, so let me see if we're lucky. All right. No, no, we're never lucky. Uh, uh, travel. Oh God. Yeah. There we go. So we can buy. Uh, Okay, that's good. All right, so leave would make uh, shopping false. Buy would do something. Sell will do something. So for buy, we're gonna do we're gonna print out all the items the merchant will have. So we'll make a D array, I think. No, an inventory. Inventory. Merchant inventory. Merchant inv. Dot add item. And then we're going to do a weapon, for example. Weapon. Okay, I want them. So level and rarity, right? I think that's how you do the how we do that. So uh, <coughs> rand character dot get level um so I wanna do it a random of the player's level like that plus random 10 plus random 5 so it can be 5 levels above and that's this is gonna be a little confusing so I have weapons here I'll just make a few of these so this is one these are the two end ones alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a plus here plus rand get level so I'm just gonna take that piece right there and make one more of these there we go so that's it 
and then rarity I'm gonna do rand uh, oh, character rand player no wait item did I add those nope uh, so how do I get rarity item okay let me go into oh we did use static we did oh whoops well who cares uh, let me go into uh, game actually or no I'm in, I need to be an event I need to be an event so I'm gonna go into this part here and we'll see where it drops an item Comment roll hit item roll so roll and rarity is minus one so as the okay um, so zero to four zero to four zero to four okay let's see that would be up to five a random of five there we go so we'll that's an item add and then a armor add armor I think it's the same thing I know why this is bugging the hell out but okay you know what I don't care uh, okay so I'll add stuff hmm so in it merchant inventory so we'll continue with this in the next video I actually made the whole basis but we'll make this we'll fix this in the next video all right but uh, but yeah because this video is too long. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Keep learning. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.